Hey groupies, welcome back to Former Therapy. I am the video channel producer, you can call me PD, and we are bringing back a series people have been asking back for a long time, which is our Diving Deeper series. Our Diving Deeper series is basically where I check out uh, the B-sides of some artists where I have not really listened to their music. And if I don't know the artist well enough, maybe even their title tracks. We've done a few episodes with EXO, Red Velvet, and this time due to one of my friend's special requests, I'm going to be checking out PH1. This one is for you, Justin. So, so my friend Justin has been on my back about checking out PH1, and we're going to be going off sort of his list and also your guys' suggestions. I asked you guys for your top favorite PH1 songs, and I asked him for like his top five to eight suggestions, and we're going to be taking half of his and half of yours, and we're going to be checking them out. So here are the songs that we're going to be checking out. First off, we have Justin's list. We're going to be taking three of his suggestions. Hate You, Groupie, and Good Day. Now, he actually suggested eight songs to me. I'll be checking that out on my own time. But if I listen to eight of his songs and eight of your songs, this would be a very long video. So we're just going to be checking out three of his, and then I'll check out the other ones on the side. And for you guys, the most popular suggestions were Malibu, lights out until i die and who knows if i like these songs i'll probably check out more of his music as well which is how diving deeper tends to work so we're gonna be starting off with justin's songs because i trust his judgment so we're gonna start off with hate you all right i like the vibe already so based on the apple music art it says it's from Show Me The Money Season 7. Okay. This is not what I thought PH1 would sound like. Okay, this is a pretty interesting chorus. Okay, all right. Oh, shit. Okay. He's got a really great flow. I actually really like his style of rapping so far. So far, it's one song. But it's very fluid, it's very fast, and it's very bouncy. Like, there's a lot of color and personality to his rapping style. It feels very alive. Oh, shoot. This is a feature. Who is this? Wonje. Not familiar with his work. He's got a great voice. Okay. <laughs> Oh my friends, they are pen. 
Lay a pen. Drop it, please. I don't really want to hate you. Okay, so far, I really like it. I have never listened to a PH1 song before, mainly because I'm an old person set in my ways. Uh, you know, once I like certain type of rapper, I kind of just stick with it. And, you know, if you're new to the channel, I have always been a very big fan of Sake and his style, and I didn't want to experiment out of that, you know, just because I'm still, I'm still going through Sake stuff, you know? But uh, I'm deciding to expand my palette, and PH1 is really good so far. I'm not sure where it ran Thanks yet, but this is the first song. I think it's a great intro song. It's lighthearted, bouncy, it's very smooth, and you guys know I really like that kind of lo-fi, chill sort of hip-hop, right? Where it's mixed with hip-hop, R&B, jazz. I really like that style, so now this is a more upbeat version of that, but still, it's really good. We're gonna be checking out Groupie. That's a very weird it's a very weird sound okay think i seen your face can't remember when feel so okay the hook is kind of really addicting outfit extra clean and the vip you're sitting next to me looking pretty tell me what you need tell me what you want Oh, I really like when he like switches it up, you know? He starts off really laid back and chill and then he just starts going really fast. I don't know, I feel like a lot of rappers, their flow is kind of predictable. But PH1 is all over the place, but in a really good way. I like the message of this song. Very interesting. Also, I noticed this entire thing's in English. And his pronunciation is... I mean, it's flawless. Is PH1 American?
that outro was that outro was phenomenal i mean the song itself i thought it's like a nice interesting bouncy zany hook i i liked it it was addicting but the latter the second ladder of that song what was that that outro was amazing i had like an existential crisis listening to that wow it says featuring Mukyo. I don't know who Mukyo is, but I assume that was the person singing during the featured portion. That was incredible. Wow. His choice in features is fantastic too. Okay, so far I'm I'm really digging the songs that we have. Okay. Next up is Good Day. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. This is like exactly my style. 10 out of 10. The song. Okay, this sounds like PH1. Oh, man. Okay, it says Loopy Kid Millie PH1 featuring Palo Alto. But this sounds like PH1. Sometimes I feel like I'm at war. Oh no, but I know it's gonna be alright. Yeah, but I know that they were guys that bought right. She could never let more down. But I'm willing to sort of get the money, jump in more chat. Yeah, we sign on. Oh, because it's a good day. Oh, damn, who's this? Oh, I'm not familiar with Loopy or Kid Millie or Palo Alto, so I don't know who this is. They're really good, too. Oh shit. Yo, I love this fucking chorus. I don't know who's singing it. Maybe it's Palo Alto because it's a feature. Oh my god, I love this. Oh my god. Who the fuck is this? Holy shit. This song's amazing. All of the features are so good. Wow, this guy has a great flow. Holy fuck. Oh. Just 
Damn. Wow. That song was amazing. Every feature was on point. Not just PH1. I mean, Justin suggested the song saying, uh, Good Day, his verse. But it's not just his verse. The entire song, all of the verses, are just amazing. The chorus, I actually really like songs with singers like whoever was doing the chorus. If it's Palo Alto, then I like singers like him. Kind of reminiscent of like, I don't know if anyone's familiar with Lee Sang, Kil. He has a very unique singing style. I like really deep voice, unique singers, and they sing kind of like, it sounds a little off kilter. I love singing like that, and I love hearing it incorporated into rap music too. So, wow, Justin's suggestions are amazing. I can't wait to check out his five other songs on his uh, suggested playlist, but we are going to be checking out your guys' suggestion. Now, uh, we'll just listen to it in order. So Malibu, Lights Out, and Till I Die. So Malibu has a star on it, so it might be the title track. Oh, wow. Whoa, that bass is... Okay. Yeah, I got news. You my boo. So tonight, better see you move. In my cug, in the mommy, all in my cum, roll your own, turn Jack, go, your midnight blow. Oh shit. PM to the AM in my chair. Okay. In my chair. Yeah. They don't believe you. What's your name? Is you look dangerous with the fragrance. Let's just stay on a first name basis. I'm kind of famous. That's not important. Hajiana Gorman. Kinsen got off. She can have that. I got a bone and cuss tonight. You know, I'll be back. Uri Turan to Bamer say. They gon' see me going CZ. Please wake me up. That part was incredible. That was so smooth. I love it. Oh, whose voice is that? Featuring the quiet and Mokyo again. Okay, so it's probably Mokyo. Because I know the quiet is a rapper, I think. Oh. That's fucking catchy. She's hotter than July in California. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so this is probably the quiet. Oh, interesting voice. Very smooth. Whoa, that was cool. I've never listened to the quiet before, so this is I'm like being exposed to like a bunch of new rappers. Okay, so this is like the chorus. Oh, what an interesting chorus. I love that he does the chorus twice. And like, he does something with like his voice in the second part of the chorus that kind of like elevates it and adds a little more emphasis. I'm a what? I'm a dash? What's a dash? Oh, I'm a dash. Like, I'm gonna dash. Oh, okay. That, like, shuddering sound at the end. Is it supposed to, like, what's, what's that supposed to be? Like, emulating gunfire or something else? Ooh. 
Wow, these guitars are so fun. Oh, interesting finish. Okay, um, that song might be it. Malibu might be the song to kind of cement it like, oh, I've been missing out. Malibu is like that it's like the perfect type of summer song that i really like you know i feel like there is a stereotypical sound for a generic summer pop song but i really like summer songs that go for the more darker sexier nighttime approach you know this feels a little bit smoother a little bit slicker like i imagine a music video that would be like i don't know maybe like a lot of silhouette shots against the sunset maybe it's at nighttime so really cool neon lighting it just feels very slick and sexy. I I really like this song and the quiet's really cool too. I might have to check out the quiet stuff afterwards. Like his flow is so good. But Malibu, so far, I dig it so much. And I think the more that I listen to it, I think PH1 definitely has American roots because his English and his flow and his kind of understanding of the English language comprehension is definitely more uh, Western. Okay, we're going to check out Lights Out featuring Chang Seok Kun. I'm alive in the night time. Oh. Shine on my neck, shining to the lights. Oh, it sounds like a little bit menacing, a little dark. It reminds me of like mid 2000s hip hop. I like it so far. Whoa. Whoa, that rolling bass line is so cool. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Whoa. oh this he's flexing in this song i feel like this is the fastest i've heard him rap it's like oh my goodness it's so so fluid so intricate this song reminds me of something, but I don't remember what. I assume the feature is going to come up now. Okay, the dude has a sick flow, but his voice, what the fuck? Traffic light, let me show you where to go. From the hands to the mode she now a pure moment sui I just she cause I'm alive in the night time. Shine on my neck, shining to the lights out. Lights out. Movie shit and gone number. Sit down, she I'll get to the sun and sound fine. Cloud gang is the This song. It is so badass. Like Malibu is sexy, this one is badass. Oh my god, this fing rolling sound. Oh my god, shoot me, it's amazing. It's so simple too. That's what I love. It's just it's elegant how simple it is. Ten out of ten, that song. That song is incredible. Oh my goodness, I I love it. It's very reminiscent of kind of like mid 2000s hip hop for me. I, I don't know what it's reminding me of, but there's like a specific sound from that era it reminds me of. And I love it so much. It sounds kind of very eerie. I mean, the album's called Home Alone Light Out and the song is called Lights Out. I wonder if it has like a tight correlation to the naming of the album or it just happens to be a similar name. Wow, first of all, I think that's 
that's probably the most impressive rap flow I've heard from PH1 out of this entire listening session. And Chang Seokun, he's amazing. I don't know who he is, but out of all the features today, that's the best one I've heard. Holy crap. His voice is deep, but his linguistic flow is also really interesting. Like I could listen to that dude just speak or give a lecture. Like I love, I love the way he says words. <laughs> that sounds weird, but it's his enunciation that I actually find really interesting on top of his really deep voice. But that song was amazing. I kind of wish we had listened to that song last because that song was so amazing. Last, we're going to check out Till I Die featuring Jay Park. Pick this one out because I want wanted to see what Jay Park's feature would sound like. Oh. Oh, I already like the vibe of this. Just from the first note. Lately I've been caught up in my feelings. As I was moving way up the ceiling. I'd read the chance heaven sent. It ain't been the same ever since. Yeah. I'm waking up sweating every morning Writing myself in my This song I'm sounds like it's gonna morning. be epic Every now and then I pop a pill and numb it down Voice inside my head I need to turn it down Also this is also all English Can't hold it down any longer I'm clipping Swear all these Ooh. people just Pre-chorus I'm slipping One thing I can't ignore is that I'm different The way I envision my future ambitions Chips on the table I race to the max Can't beat my hand I'm gonna leave with the bags Riding the wave I create on my own I'm gonna jump in and give it up Cause I'm a suitor still at the night Oh, okay. Okay, that's an interesting chorus. I like it. I like it. Okay, it's Jay Park. Let's listen. You know, but don't be really knowing what's the end. Go, I'm just focused on us growing niggas ice. Oh, fuck. That was... Damn, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've heard a Jay Park verse that is that badass. Wow, I love the drums in that moment. Like, as as it like kind of like escalates, you hear like the flurry of the drums. Like that percussive sound is like it's such a great build up. Many people doubting on me. Ooh. They don't see what I be painting. Never chasing money, but I'm still getting famous. Filling out my bucket list. I ain't even noticed I got nothing left. Not said to live for anything that don't deserve my time. Yeah. Can't take away my light. Yeah. Can't hold it down any longer. I'm clipping. Swear all these people just praying till I'm slipping. One thing I can't ignore is that I'm different. The way I envision my future ambitions. Trips on the table, I race to the max. Can't beat my hand, I'ma leave with the bags. Riding the wave, I create on my own. I'ma jump in and give it up. Cause I'm a suitor still at the night. Oh my god, this song is so catchy. <sighs> what the fuck? Okay, I've clearly made a mistake in not checking out PH1 earlier. I'm 
sorry. That was, that was phenomenal. All of those songs were amazing. I am gonna go on a PH1 binge. I'm just gonna just listen to a whole bunch of his albums. This was, wow. PH1 has a great flow. I think he's a very versatile rapper. And one of the things that stood out to me is his rapping feels so carefree. I'm sure like he works really hard at his craft, but he makes it seem so simple and easy. It almost seems like words coming out in interesting or quick succession for him is as easy as breathing. You know, he makes it seem easy, which means he's that talented. I'm just like, wow, he's just literally, I mean, you know, the term spitting bars, like he's literally just spitting out words. Even though I don't listen to a lot of Korean rappers, I've listened to a lot of rappers at least, and I can definitely say Peach One is definitely one of my favorites. I think his flow, his creativity, his sound in particular, he has a very interesting voice, makes for really diverse hip hop music. You know, I don't listen to American rap because I feel like American rappers, their flow is a little whack. I, I find them fairly predictable in their songwriting. A lot of these songs seem to be produced by Mokyo as well. I think Mokyo seems to make pretty interesting uh, instrumentals and he lays down a really good beat for PH1, but it's PH1's songwriting. It's his lyrics. It's the way he delivers the lyrics that's so creative and so fun. You never know what you're really going to get and what direction the song is gonna go in because his flow is just so like i said all over the place but not in a bad way seriously guys check out ph1 this was phenomenal i thoroughly enjoyed it i'm gonna be adding a bunch of his albums to my playlist guys i hope you enjoyed this diving deeper let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about the song let me know if you're a ph1 fan or if you'd never heard of ph1 just like me and this is your first time experiencing it let me know what you guys thought about the songs or what you think about him as an artist and leave it in the comments down below also thank you for watching this diving deeper i'm gonna try to bring this back at least once or twice a month let me know in the comments who i should check out next anyways thanks for for watching guys if you would like to support us please visit us on patreon go to patreon.com slash form of therapy for as little as two dollars a month you get early access to reactions you also get at different tiers reactions to dramas variety shows j-pop live stages etc so head on over to patreon to check that out uh, however supporting us monetarily is completely optional if you'd like uh, consider hitting like down below that is free it helps us out with youtube search algorithm leave a comment that also helps us out if you're new please subscribe also, turn on the notification bell, be notified when we upload a new video, and check out our other videos over here.